So, as I'm sure you're all aware, you are a racist. You don't quite know why, but fentanyl Jesus died for our racist sins last year. But you still won't stop being a white supremacist, even if you happen to be black. You're still a hateful bigot somehow. Doesn't matter if you've never done anything that could be construed as being racist. That is in itself pretty goddamn racist somehow, because reasons, okay? Thankfully, though, companies are looking at stopping this wave of everyone staging KKK rallies at work and holding lynchings in the parking lot and are stepping in to offer re-education on this pressing matter that didn't seem to exist a few years ago until websites realised they could get a lot of easy rage clicks. Oi, sorry. That has always existed despite no one seeing any evidence of it at all. One of these companies is the largest pharmacy chain in America, CVS Health Corporation, who launched a mandatory, man, you didn't get to opt out of this, anti-racist training program to check their privilege. Now let's give this a chance. Maybe there's something useful to take away from this. Some people do have it quite bad. You probably shouldn't assume the guy who mops the floor can afford two holidays a year like you can, and maybe you shouldn't rub is facing it. It'll probably make him feel bad and depressed, right? I mean, it could be something like that. Office heads are cut or something like that. So let's hear what this grifter hired to talk nonsense. Apologies again. Just That just slipped out. The founder of Boston University Center for Anti-Racist Research. What? What the fuck is that? Anyway, he turned up to speak to 25,000 employees of CVS Health and among his quotes, he said this to start with. To be born in America is to literally have racist ideas rain on our head consistently and constantly. As a result, Americans are completely so in racist ideas. Oh, okay. He talks complete fucking nonsense for a living to make people think they're victims. I see now. Maybe this isn't going to be the constructive training I thought it might be. So this idiot gives his speech and employees are giving out pieces of paper about reflecting on their privilege. You know, stuff that could get you ahead in life, which is where this shit gets a bit weird. Amongst them are, you celebrate Christmas. I'm <laughs> not really sure that gets you ahead in life, but whatever. You have a name that is easy to pronounce. Again, I have an Irish last name and maybe one in every 50 people I meet can pronounce it correctly. It's slightly annoying, but I don't think it's ever held me back in any way. And it gets a bit odd. Your parents had consistent full-time employment during your childhood and you feel safe in your neighborhood at night. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I hang about. If you or I said black people can't hold down a job and all of them live in shitty areas, we'd be called racist. But a huge company can do exactly that to 25,000 of their employees, by the way, and make them do this. Then they seem to completely understand what racism is with this one. Regardless of government or policy changes, I know myself and my family can live in the USA. Yeah, that's called being a foreigner in a foreign land and yeah you probably should be always making sure you're allowed to legally stay in the country what the fuck is wrong with that you were privileged to have been given a chance to live in a better country than your own it's not a right it's actually you're the privileged one then they go back to saying black people are all poor and actually they're just ripping on all the ethnic minorities who work for them as well when they say while i worry about what to eat for dinner i never worry i will be able to find food look you horrible racist don't you know while you have food at home all black people are having to look in trash cans for scraps to eat jesus fucking christ it's like a list of saying but not actually saying Thing. Minorities are subhuman and don't know how to look after themselves. It's absolutely shocking how racist this anti-racism shit is. It's just a collection of the worst stereotypes parroted by woke idiots, mainly fat white women, might I add, telling you how fucking stupid black people are. That's its entire purpose. It's fucking insane. And we'll finish on the last one, and perhaps the most odd one. Now, remember, this is an anti-racism training program, not an understanding how some people are poor program. Keep that in mind. I was able to use my new salary and budget for my own daily life expenses and savings goals. Well, I guess Guess all black people blow their wages on the first day buying drugs and Hennessy and are completely incapable of saving our budgeting. These fucking dummies, eh? Am I right, guys? This is what actual racism looks like. It's not jokes made at the expense of another person because of their race. That's a fucking joke. This is believing a stereotype about an individual and then trying to teach people that's what all people of a certain race are actually like. Oh, and you want to know who wanted to teach his averagely paid staff about their privilege? A gentleman called Larry Merlo who earned $22 million a year as a CEO. I think his actual privilege might have gone to his head and driven him insane. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks, boy.